こんにちは、ジャパニーズアーモのミサです。Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you all about pronouns in Japanese. Alright, let's start with the easy one. So, dictionaries and textbooks would teach you to use the words kare and kanojo for he and she, but they are not really used when speaking Japanese. They do mean he and she, kare. Kanojo, but they are mainly used in writing. So when you read the Japanese book, you'd see the words kare, kanojo a lot. But、uh, if you're speaking Japanese and you say kare wa, kanojo wa, people would usually think you're talking about your boyfriend or girlfriend. So kare can mean he, but Also, boyfriend and kanojo can mean she and girlfriend. And especially when you're speaking informally, so when you're talking to your friends, kare and kanojo、uh, would mean boyfriend and girlfriend 90% of the time. So, if you want to sound natural when speaking Japanese, just stop using kare and kanojo,、uh, unless you're talking about your boyfriend, girlfriend. By the way, For the word boyfriend, you can also use kareshi. And kareshi、uh, means boyfriend, not he. Always boyfriend. For example, kareshi ga okotteru. Kareshi ga okotteimasu. Then you translate like, my boyfriend is angry. And for girlfriend, it's just kanojo, no special word. <laughs> So, then what should we use instead of kare and kanojo, right? So, there are three options. The first option is to omit the word he or she. The second option is to use the name of the person. The third option is to describe the person. So, first, let's talk about the first option omitting. So, Japanese people love omitting. Everything, like especially subjects, but also particles. For example, my kids are watching TV. Correctly, you're supposed to say, Kodomo wa terebi o miteiru. But more naturally, when speaking informally, I would say, Kodomo terebi miteiru. Kodomo terebi miteiru. So, first, I omitted the wa particle,、uh, the topic marker. Then, I also omitted the o particle, the object marker. And then, lastly, instead of mi te iru, I omitted i. Like, te iru usually becomes te ru when speaking informally. <laughs> so, kodomo te re bi mi te ru. Instead of kodomo wa terebi o mite iru. <laughs> so, as you can tell, Japanese people love omitting everything. And we also hate using words like I, you, he, she. So, we actually hate using pronouns. So, if my friend asks me, Kodomo wa nani shite iru no? What are your kids up to right now? What are your kids doing right now? It's already clear that I'm going to talk about my kids when answering that question. I'm not gonna say what I'm doing right now.、Uh, so instead of kodomo wa terebi miteru, I would just omit kodomo wa part and say terebi miteru. They are watching TV. So in English, you would still use the pronoun they. Or he or she, right?、Uh, in Japanese, we just omit it. So, terebi miteru. Or if somebody asks you what your boyfriend does, like, kare no shigoto wa nani? Kare here is used as boyfriend, so what's your boyfriend's job? Kare no shigoto nani? And you'd answer like,、uh, kai s h a i n a company employee, or 銀行員 a banker, programmer, programmer. In English, you probably would say he is a banker, he is an employee, he is a programmer, right? You'd still use the pronoun. In Japanese, we wouldn't. We would just say, ah, 
programa. You could say kareva programa, but it doesn't sound natural actually. Just repeating is just way too much. Like we like to be as lazy as possible. <laughs> like why would you say the word he when it's clear from the context? So Japanese is very contextual. So that means we also tend to omit his, her. So you can add the no particle after kare, for example, to mean his, kare no, because the no is like apostrophe s, it's a possessive particle. His, kare no, kanojo no, her, hers. But again, we don't really use it. For example, Kosuke lost his wallet. In English, you'd have to say his wallet, right? In Japanese, you just say Kosuke wa saifu wo nakushita. Kosuke wa saifu wo nakushimashita. So you didn't say Kosuke wa kare no saifu wo nakushita. Sounds so weird. Just omit it. <laughs> Alright, now the second option is to use the name. If you know that person's name, you'd say Kosuke wa isha. Kosuke wa isha desu. Just use that person's name instead of using the pronoun he, she, they. So when speaking informally, you can just use that person's name or like first name or nickname. But when speaking formally and you're not very close to that person, you should use surname, last name plus san or last name plus sama if it's a customer. Okay, so imagine I'm at work, I'm talking to my colleague named Harada-san. I call her Harada-san, Miss Harada, because I'm not very close, but I know her name, so Harada-san. And she leaves and somebody else comes and they're like, wow, she's so pretty, who is she? They would say, wow, sugoku kirei na hito, dare? So that person says, sugoku kirei na hito, without saying the word she, like kanojo. So they can just say, a very pretty person. And then, dare, who is she? Again, you don't have to say, who is she, like kanojo wa dare, kanojo wa dare desu ka. Just say, dare, or dare desu ka. It's clear from the context who that person is talking about. And then I can say, ah, Harada-san. Harada-san wa model dattan datte. Oh, you mean Miss Harada? Apparently she was a model. So here I said, Harada-san wa model datta. Datte means like, apparently I heard. Harada-san wa model dattan datte. So instead of the word she, I used Harada-san's name. All right, option three. You want to talk about him or her or them, but you don't know that person's name. Then just describe. If that person is wearing a red t-shirt, that person would be called Akai t-shatsu no hito. Akai t-shatsu no hito. Literally, a person of red t-shirt. They might also say, 赤 I T shirts 着てる人着てる着ている wearing. So, a red tissue wearing man. <laughs> 赤 I T shirts 着てる人 Or you say, that tall person. You say, あの背の高い人. あの, that, 背の高い人. Tall person. You can also say, あの背が高い人. Or more simply, just あの人 is enough if there is only one person in the corner, for example, or you're pointing at that person, which is a bit rude, but yeah. あの人, that person. あの男の人, that man. Formally, you might also hear the word あの男性, 男性 instead of 男の人. 男の人 can be used when speaking formally, but uh, especially in business situations, the word danse is preferred. So, ano danse or ano otoko no hito. Uh, for a uh, lady, you can say ano onna no hito or ano jose 
again, just like otoko no hito becoming danse, onna no hito can be replaced with the word jose, and that's used more commonly when speaking super formally. So, ano jose, that woman, or ano otoko no ko, that boy, ano onna no ko, that girl. Just describe that person instead of using the word he or she. You can also just use the occupation, the profession or the title of the person. So if you want to talk about a teacher, you'd say sensei wa uh, instead of he or she. If you actually say ne kanojo wa when talking with your teacher, at school there might be a problem because like are you dating your teacher you don't want to do that and if you're at a convenience store and you're talking to an employee and that employee is like ah oh, i have to leave uh, with the other staff will help you then they would say hoka no ten another staff or the other staff they wouldn't say kare ga kimasu to mean he will come uh, he will come help you hoka no ten ga sugu ni maerimasu okay now let's talk about plural they in dictionaries or textbooks you will see the word kare da for they but again it's not very commonly used you will see those words in writing so you will say kare da wa naita they cried and uh, Maybe it sounds or it looks poetic, <laughs> right? But it's it would sound very weird if you use the word karera uh, when speaking, unless you're speaking very formally. So again, you'd usually omit or describe or list everyone's names, and that might sound weird to you to list everyone's names. But if they're like only three people, it's not weird. So let's say Haruki and Akira and Natsumi are there. Uh, you can just say Haruki to Akira to Natsumi. Or you can pick one person and add Tachi. So Akira Tachi or Haruki Tachi or Natsumi Tachi. This is very common. If there is like a leader in the group, you can pick the leader and say Natsumi tachi. Or if there's no leader, then you just pick a random person. Natsumi tachi wa benkyo shiteiru. Natsumi and others are studying. So this tachi can be used like others if it's combined with a name. Or kodomo means kid or kids. But if you really want to emphasize the fact that there are more than one child, then you say kodomo tachi. Kodomo tachi. But, you know, if you want to say, ah, oh, the kids are loud, the kids are being annoying, you don't have to say, kodomo tachi wa urusai. I would just say, kodomo wa urusai. Unless I really want to make sure that the listener knows there is more than one child. Let's say I'm sitting with my friend and I want to say, ah, oh, the kids are so loud. And the, my friend also sees that the kids are loud, then I can just say kodomo urusai ne, <laughs> the kids are loud, huh? Uh, I don't have to say kodomo tachi wa urusai because she knows there is more than one kid. In Japanese, generally, you really don't care if the thing is singular or plural. So I have loads of plushies, right? Plush toys. But in Japanese, plush toy or plush toys Either way, you'd say nuigurumi, nuigurumi. So in my case, I would just say nuigurumi ga aru to me. I have plushies or I have a plush toy. You know, it doesn't matter. If I really want to say that uh, there are a lot of them, then I just add the word a lot, takusan. So I would say nuigurumi ga takusan aru. I wouldn't say nugurumi tachi, or it's weird anyway, because tachi is only attached to living things, unless they're like Toy Story toys. <laughs> so the word hito, 
means person and people, right? You can say hitotachi to mean people, plural, but you don't have to do that. You just say hito ga taksan iru to mean there are a lot of people. You don't say hitotachi ga taksan iru. So in Japanese, the word they is really not used at all. So you'd hear the person plus tachi a lot, but uh, not really the word karera. Okay, now let's talk about the pronoun I. So probably the one you know is watashi, watashi. And it's probably the safest one to use. And if you're a woman, you're lucky because you can just use watashi when speaking both formally and informally. So you can use the word watashi as I when talking to your friends and also when talking to your colleagues or boss. So some when you have to speak formally. And that's what I use as well, watashi. So if, when I'm talking to my friends, I say watashi wa. Uh, also when speaking formally, I say watashi wa. But as you know, we omit the subject usually. So I actually don't really use the word watashi that often in a sentence. <laughs> so in English, I would say, I, 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 <laughs> right? I say, I will. In almost every sentence about myself, I use the word I. In Japanese, no. So for example, I'll go to a supermarket. I wouldn't say, Watashi wa supa ni iku. <laughs> it sounds very robotic. Uh, I would just say, Supa ni iku, depending on the context. But Watashi wa supa ni iku is like an <laughs> answer for a textbook or for a sentence like, May I do something? Uh, like, may I take a picture? Like, I wouldn't say watashi in this sentence. Like, watashi wa shashin wo totte mo ii desu ka? Sounds so unnatural. You just say shashin wo totte mo ii desu ka? Without the word watashi. Okay? So, actually, it's best to omit the word watashi <laughs> or the pronoun for I. Uh, but it doesn't mean we never use it. We have to use it if it's not clear from the context. Say I'm talking about somebody else and now I want to change the topic and say uh, I, on the other hand, I have to use watashi wa. So Yukiko can swim but I can't. And say ah, Yukiko wa oyogeru kedo watashi wa oyogenai. So in that kind of situation when you have to talk about yourself after talking about somebody else, it definitely is watashi wa, okay? But again, if it's clear from the context or if it seems clear enough uh, from the context, then it's better to omit the word I. Uh, and it, because if they don't know what you're talking about, they're gonna ask you anyway. So that happens all the time in Japanese. So when I talk to my friends or my family, I have to often ask, like, no koto hanashite ru no? like why, who are you talking about? <laughs> so yeah, depends on the context. But generally, omit watashi or I. Okay, so if you're a woman or if you identify as a woman, then you can say, Watashi, and that's the easiest option, and it's probably the most likable option as well. There is also atashi. Atashi can be used when you speak informally, uh, but it depends on your personality. So, <laughs> this is generalization, but every girl I met who uses atashi tends to be super outgoing, super cheerful, usually quite popular and in a more on the loud side, super extroverted and sometimes even mean. <laughs> so popular mean girls would definitely use atashi 
<laughs> it doesn't mean like people who use atashi are mean that's not always the case but you know at school uh every mean girl used <laughs> atashi so that says something uh yeah but if you want to be that kind of cheerful outgoing girl type then yeah go you can definitely use atashi and there's also uchi uchi so this one is very interesting because uchi is very common in kansai in the kansai region so osaka kyoto and the pitch is different it's uchi so uchi wa uchi wa isogashi like i'm busy uh in kanto the word uchi is also used and only girls usually teenage girls use this and i was one of them so when i was like maybe 13 14 i used i i used uchi uchi not uchi because that's kansai in kanto uchi so uchi wa to mean i am i don't yukiko wa oyogeru kedo uchi wa oyogenai this brings back so many memories like using the word uchi is so weird now because i've been using watashi uh you know since i was maybe like 17. So that's what happens a lot uh, with teenagers. So girls like at school tend to use the word uchi or atashi, but when they start going to university or start a job, they switch to watashi because they think it's a bit too childish or too embarrassing to call yourself uchi or atashi. By the way, uchi means my home, but girls can use it as i it's confusing right <laughs> anyway uh you can use uchi or atashi but i would say watashi is the safest option and i also use it and i am a pretty i don't know normal person <laughs> a bit too nerdy but a normal person so you can you know uh, trust my option I think <laughs> so I told you that I use watashi as I and when I was a teenager I used the word uchi as I so women tend to use watashi atashi or uchi right uh, and men also use watashi when speaking formally so if you are at work you probably want to use the word watashi for example when you are doing a presentation right so when you're casually talking to your colleagues you don't have to use watashi because that's a bit too formal but yeah if you're talking to your boss or you go to shiakusho city hall and you have to talk to some people officially formally then you use watashi i think my brother-in-law also used uh watashi when introducing himself for the first time so instead of watashi men tend to use boku or ore and now i think most of you use boku right if you identify yourself as a man and that's okay and that's safe as well and that's probably because your Japanese teacher told you that ore is too harsh too rude and yeah if you are talking to a teacher or a boss so somebody you have to respect uh, ore is not the best choice but if you're talking to your friends or your family uh, using ore is completely fine actually i would prefer if my male friend uh, used ore instead of boku so boku does give you this soft vibe <laughs> um, like you know somebody who is not rude somebody who is you know very soft gentle but boku can also make you sound like uh 
mommy's boy, you know, it, because kids at a very young age would use the word boku. So when they're like five, six, seven, they would use boku. Like kindergarten teachers would probably correct them uh, if they're using ore, like because that sounds a bit more too teenager <laughs> or a bit too grown up. So kids say boku. Boku, omocha de asabu. I will play with my toy. You know, uh, so using the word boku when speaking to your friends can make you sound childish or a bit, yeah, too much of a mommy's boy. So, yeah, I personally <laughs> don't like it and I don't actually have any friends or family member who uses boku. But even guys who use ore uh, sometimes use boku because yeah, ore is a bit too friendly, too casual. So like my brother-in-law, first he used watashi uh, in front of me and my family for the first time because he wanted to be very formal. Uh, then, like, you know, Japanese family meeting is very formal, not, not very similar to what people in the West do. Anyway, so he used watashi for the first time, then he changed to boku when, like, after the first time, so like the second, the third dinner, uh, he used boku. And then when he got very used to everyone, he started using ore. So, <laughs> you know, it's like an evolution. You go from watashi to boku to ore. <laughs> so ore should only be used uh, with your friends or people you're close to. And then maybe with colleagues or senpai, you can use boku. And with your boss, you can use watashi. <laughs> just listen to what your friends or colleagues do and just adjust. <laughs> if every one of your colleagues is using boku in, at work, then you should also probably use boku. But if they're using ore, then why not? You can also use ore. But yeah, ore is not necessarily super rude or only used by young kids. That's not true at all. My grandpa used ore and he was a very polite, good man. He wasn't rude at all. He just was a man. So he said ore. You will also hear guys use jibun, jibun, which means oneself, myself. So this is like a more modern thing, I guess. So I asked my male friend and he said, just switching between boku, watashi, ore is, you know, too difficult. E even for him, like he's a Japanese man and he finds it pain in the neck. So <laughs> he said jibun can be so versatile. Like it's not exactly polite or correct, but people don't really mind if he calls himself jibun. Uh, even at like uh, meeting, so <laughs> he just said he he's just sticking to jibun because <laughs> boku sounds too childish to him and ore sounds too casual in front of his like senpai. So now he's just using jibun. So that's an option too, but I don't know because it's a bit modern. Your if your Japanese teacher is a bit old. They might correct you. <laughs> and now, girl can also use ore, boku, if they want to, you know? My friends at school, although she was, you know, female, she didn't feel like being a girl. And yeah, so she preferred using ore. And, you know, teachers were conservative so they were trying to correct her and yeah sure order is not suitable for job meeting but if you're talking to friends who understand you it's just order is fine and i had no problem with it all this gender stuff um 
I hope people will be more understanding and more open-minded about it. And Japan is a bit behind when it comes to like gender stuff or yeah, Japan is always a step behind. <laughs> also in Russian, you conjugate the past tense for the verb uh, differently depending on the gender. So if you're a girl, you add like ah at the end. And uh, I talked to a girl and like she's from Russia and she said she knows it's weird but she doesn't feel like it so she just uses the male form and you know I understand that some people find it weird or find it unnatural but it's their choice and you don't know what they went through you don't know what you know made them feel that way so you should never judge you know like you can correct them if you if you want but if they tell you why they do it and they tell you that they want to stick to that way then you should just be understanding and let them speak that way you know so if i meet a girl and she wants to speak more masculine or she just doesn't identify as a girl then just why you know why argue with that it's their choice anyway as a language teacher i say that watashi atashi uchi are mainly used by women and ore boku jibun are used by men but as misa i would say just use whatever you want even if people tell you ore sounds rude, if you feel good when you use the word ore, then just use ore. When people tell you, ah, oh, boku sounds too childish, but you want to use boku because your favorite anime character uses boku, then just use boku. It's okay to be different. Yeah, you want to sound natural, so don't always use the pronouns it's good to remember that uh, you should usually omit the pronoun <laughs> okay now let's talk about the pronoun you in textbooks or dictionaries again you will see the word anata and yes in writing anata is fine but don't use anata when speaking i cannot say this uh enough like, I've said this so many times in so many different videos. So I don't even want to repeat this, but do not say anata. So if you say anata to me as you, I would be offended. It just sounds rude, okay? So this is the hardest part about Japanese. You learn a word and you see it everywhere and you get told off that it sounds rude. It's like classic Japanese learning uh, story. <laughs> well, anyway, I see a lot of you leaving comments like "Anata wa i sensei desu" or "Anata wa kirei desu." Right? I know they're compliments, but still, because of the word "anata," I'm like. Hmm, <laughs> I cannot really take this compliment. <laughs> um, joking, I appreciate any comment regardless of your, you know, fluency. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 such a shame because the rest of the sentence is perfect. So e sensei desu, kirei desu, and now because of this evil anata. It makes you sound like a rude, you know, panda. So instead of the word anata, use that person's name, right? You guys know my name, Misa or Misa Sensei. So instead of anata wa i sensei desu, just say Misa Sensei wa i sensei desu or Misa Sensei wa kirei desu, and I will be so flattered. <laughs> And now in Japanese, using the name doesn't make it sound like you're talking about third person. For example, your name is Jem and I'm talking to you. 
And then I would say, Jim wa doko ni sundaru no? Where do you live, Jim? Or formally, Jim san wa doko ni sundaru n desu ka? Yes, this sentence could mean where does Jim live? But I'm looking at you, so I'm using your name as you. Okay? So that's what you need to remember. Use the name. Or use the title or the occupation of the person. So if you're talking to a teacher, you say sensei. You also use the word sensei when talking to a doctor as well. So you say sensei, onaka ga itai n desu. Doctor, my stomach hurts. Or if you are talking to your customer, you want to say okyaku sama. Okyaku sama. For example, your customer. Uh, left the wallet at the counter. You want to say, "Oh, okyaku sama no saifu desu ka?" Is this is it your wallet, Mr. Customer? So instead of saying "Anata no saifu desu ka," <laughs> I would just say "Okyaku sama no saifu desu ka." Are you talking to senpai? Easy. You just say senpai. So senpai no kaban doko de kattan desu ka? Where did you buy your bag? Senpai, <laughs> or you can also omit, right? Remember, omit or use the name or describe, and yeah, you can also omit uh, the word you. So it's clear from the context. I'm looking straight at you, and <laughs> say, "Doko ni sundeiru desu ka?" Then I probably mean where do you live, right? I don't suddenly start talking about I don't know Kerry Pami Pami when looking right at you, and I didn't even mention her. Then yeah, so just omit or use the name, not Anata, because it, no. <laughs> But I understand that some of you wanna be rude and you wanna fight on the street. <laughs> uh, yeah, in that case, uh, you can say "omae" or uh, "teme," right? If you wanna pick a fight. So if you intentionally want to be rude, instead of "anata," just say "omae" or "teme." So I. Personally, don't recommend this because you will likely to get into a fight <laughs> if you use those words. But so I'd say "oma" is more common than "teme," but you can <laughs> use "teme,"、uh, especially if you watch anime or drama. You will definitely hear these words "oma," "teme."、Uh, so you want to remember them, maybe. And if you are anime villain, you probably would wanna remember <laughs> Kisama. Yeah, in anime you definitely hear Kisama when the villain is very angry, like you. <laughs>、um, but yeah, it's very anime villainy, and so you wanna maybe use Omae if you wanna be rude <laughs> in real life. There's also Kimi. Kimi is also. Yeah, quite rude. Unless it's used in songs or poetry, then it sounds very romantic. I don't know why it's really weird, right? So if somebody says "kimi wa," I'd be like, "How dare you? Like, who do you think you are?" But if somebody sings me a song, then like you know, like "kimi wa." Kire or kimi wa utsukushi, and I'm like, ah,、oh, it's like really stupid, but that's how it works. Japanese is a weird language, and also, your boss could use kimi, and I don't know. I think in recent years, ah,、uh, it's been changing because yeah, kimi sounds rude, and yeah, I don't know. Even as a boss, some people find it a little bit too rude to use kimi, but you might hear kimi. Also,、uh, kimi can be read as kun, and kun is the suffix for like usually boys, right? Like at school, usually 
like girls would say blah blah kun when talking to a boy. So Tanaka kun, yeah, Akira kun. But kun can also be used at work, and your boss might use kun uh, after your name. So like Sumis kun, that's quite normal, even if you're a uh, woman. And now, uh, lastly, I thought I forgot about we, the pronoun we. We, you can say watashi tachi, ore tachi, uh, boku tachi, atashi tachi. So you can just add tachi after uh, whatever pronoun you use for I. That's it. <laughs> but again, just like the pronoun they, it's not so common to use watashi tachi, ore tachi. If I wanna say like we did something, I would rather use the word ishoni, which means together, or minna de. Minna means everyone, right? But minna de, like by everyone. So minna de tsukutta, or ishoni tsukutta. We made it. So literally, together made it. With everyone made it. <laughs> so instead of watashi tachi ga tsukurimashita, I would probably say ishoni tsukurimashita. Unless you are like a farmer and you wanna put the you know advertisement on the product saying we made it and this is the face of the you know people who were involved in making these vegetables, then you probably see watashi ga tsukurimashita. But yeah, generally instead of the word we watashi I would say somebody to blah blah suru. So we will help you in, instead of watashi tachi tetsudau yo. I would say watashi to tomu tetsudau yo or tomu to tetsudau yo. So again, we would rather use the actual name. But yeah, I think that's enough for today. I hope you learned a lot. So basically, omit the pronouns. If you can't, then use the name uh, or describe the person. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And yeah, please subscribe to this channel. Please, please do. <laughs> and if you could consider supporting me on Patreon or Coffee, I would really appreciate it. Alright, ciao, matane, bye bye.